Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we will discuss one important topic of plant communities that is ecotone and edge effect. So basically ecotone is the zone of tension between two ecosystems and in that zone we found maximum species diversity or species richness and that richness is commonly known as edge effect. So we'll discuss it one by one in upcoming slide. Let's start. First, ecotone. So basically, ecotone is a zone of tension or zone of transition between two ecosystems. जो दो ecosystems हैं उनके बीच में जो zone of transition होता है या zone of tension है that zone is known as ecotone. So it's a zone of junction or transition area between two biomes or we can say two ecosystems which may be diverse or जो छोटे भी हो सकते हैं. It is where two communities meet and integrate. So, ये एक ऐसा area है जहाँ पे दो communities मिलती हैं और integrate होती हैं. For example, we have mangrove forests, जो represent करते हैं ecotone between a marine ecosystem and a terrestrial ecosystem. जो mangrove vegetation है, there is the ecotone between uh, the marine ecosystem and the terrestrial ecosystem. Then next we have other examples like grassland that is the zone of transition between forest and desert estuaries jokey zone of transition banata hai fresh water or salt water ke beech mein and we have river bank or marshland that forms the zone of transition or ecotone between dry and wetland so these are some examples of ecotone so this we can see this is the mangrove vegetation they have some special characteristics feature like they have negatively geotropic roots jinko nematophores bhi kaha hai and they helps in gaseous exchange so this is the property of mangrove uh, forest and this mangrove forest represents the zone of tension or zone of transition between the <coughs> marine ecosystem and the terrestrial ecosystem then next we have this uh, zone of transition between the forest ecosystem and the grassland ecosystem. We can see here this zone is known as zone of transition between the forest ecosystem and the grassland ecosystem. Next, this represents the zone of transition between the freshwater streams and the saltwater stream. So this is a uh, estuary, which represents the zone of transition or ecotone between freshwater and the saltwater. These are also known as this estuary is also known as the rainforest of fishing. And this represents the aquatic ecosystem and the terrestrial ecosystem, the zone of transition between aquatic and terrestrial ecosystem. Then next this picture shows that species of two ecosystems, that is, for example, land zone and the aquatic zone they overlaps in this transition zone or the zone of transition or this junction this is called ecotone and its special part is ecotone ki, is mein jo conditions hoti hai, they are intermediate in between the two ecosystems that is land zone or aquatic zone and here the species pa jati hai, there are some unique species which are not found either in land zone or in aquatic zone and maximum diversity of species is found in this area that is the zone of transition or ecotone so this is the speciality of this ecotone or zone of transition or zone of tension and the diversity uh, the greater diversity in this zone is commonly known as edge effect that we'll discuss in upcoming slides the next characteristics of ecotones uh, ecotone ki jo characteristic features hai, they may be small as i have already discussed Wo small bhi ho sakte ecotones and they may be diverse then it may be narrow that is between grassland and forest or ye wide bhi ho sakta between forest and desert and this is the zone of transition as we already know this and the uh, conditions hoti hai isme, they are intermediate uh, intermediate of two ecosystems jo adjacent ecosystems hai ecotone ke uh, sides mein, in both the sides of ecotone jo ecosystems hai wahan ki jo conditions hai 
ecotone that is intermediate of mediate of both the ecosystems hence this is known as zone of tension usually the number or population of density hoti hai is area mein that is uh, greater in this zone of tension but when we move from one ecosystem to the next ecosystem to wahan pe jo number of species hai or species density hai that uh, goes on decreasing order wo decrease hoti rehti hai as we move away from one community to the other community so suppose this is land zone jab hum land zone se move karte hain towards the aquatic zone यहाँ पे जो टेरेस्ट्रियल स्पीशीज़ हैं उनका नंबर डिक्रीज़ होता जाएगा और यहाँ पे जो स्पीशीज़ हैं नई स्पीशीज़ यहाँ पे अपीयर होनी स्टार्ट हो जाएगी दैट इज़ ऑफ अदर इकोसिस्टम देन अ वेल डेवलप्ड इकोटोन कंटेन सम ऑर्गेनिजम्स व्हिच आर इंटायरली डिफरेंट फ्रॉम दैट ऑफ द एडजॉइनिंग कम्युनिटी दैट आई हैलरेडी डिस्कस सो इसमें कुछ जो जोन ऑफ ट्रांजिशन है इसमें कुछ एक कम्युनिटी कुछ एक स्पीशीज़ uh, ऐसी होंगी विच आर यूनिक जो इन दोनों इको में प्रजेंट नहीं होती है For example, we can see here this is the wasp, which is unique to this uh, transition zone. So these are some characteristic features of ecotone. Next one is edge effect or edge species that I have already discussed. जो ecotone है that is the zone of transition or zone of tension between two ecosystems. वहाँ पे जो species diversity है, species richness है that is greater as compared to adjacent ecosystems and that greater diversity is known as edge effect in the uh, ecotone region so in ecology edge effect refers to the change in population or community structure that occurs at the boundary so jo boundary pe species ka structure uh, change hota hai diversity show karta hai that is commonly known as edge effect and the number of species and population density of some of the species in the ecotone is much greater than either community and this is known as edge effect so dono ecosystem mein jo population hai wahan se zyada population present hoti hai this region of tension or ecotone mein and that richness of species is known as edge effect so in this picture we can see here this is one ecosystem suppose a then second one is b and this is the zone of tension or we can say ecotone and that is the area or boundary between two ecosystems and this zone contain the maximum diversity of species jo ki dono hi ecosystem ka mixture hoga and there will be some unique uh, species and uh, this region forms a greater diversity and this greater diversity is commonly known as edge effect so in this picture we can see here in uh, ecosystem a there are three species in ecosystem b there are again three species but in this zone of transition there are nine species so it shows maximum diversity and this diversity of species is known as edge effect and the organism which occur primarily most abundantly in, the, in this zone are known as edge species or jo bhi species yahan pe paayi jati hai is region mein these are known as edge species and in terrestrial ecosystem edge effect is especially applicable to birds terrestrial ecosystem mein ye jo uh, uh, edge effect hai that is applicable for only birds for example the density of birds is greater in the mixed habitat of the ecotone between the forest and the desert so birds ki jo population hoti hai forest aur desert ke beech ke ecosystem that is maximum so this is the edge effect if we define edge effect so edge effect where two ecosystems overlap and the overlapping area supports species from both plus another species that is only found in the overlapping area and this diverse richness in the species diversity is commonly known as edge effect so the maximum jo population hai maximum jo uh, species ki diversity hai wo is region mein hoti hai it contains mixture of both ecosystems as well as some new species which are not found either in a ecosystem or either in b ecosystem so that richness in species is known as edge effect So next is ecocline. Uh, this is the gradual change when we move from one community or one ecosystem to another ecosystem, and there is no clear-cut demarcation between the two ecosystem. 
और ये जो वेरिएशन है दैट अकर्स इन टर्म्स ऑफ स्पीशीज कंपोजिशन सो दैट चेंज इज नॉन एज इको क्लाइन सो दिस इज द जोन ऑफ ग्रेजुअल बट कॉन्टीन्यूस चेंज फ्रॉम वन इको सिस्टम टू अनदर वैन देर इज नो शार्प बाउंड्रीज बिटवीन द टू इको सिस्टम्स इन टर्म्स ऑफ स्पीशीज कंपोजिशन सो जो दो इको सिस्टम्स हैं उनके बीच में कोई क्लियर कट बाउंड्री नहीं होती है इन टर्म्स ऑफ स्पीशीज composition and that change is known as eco client so we can see here this this represents the fresh water species here are the marine water species and this is the zone of change so but in this zone there is no clear cut demarcation between the species of these two different ecosystems so that change from one ecosystem to another ecosystem is known as eco client so eco client occurs across the environmental gradient that is gradual change in abiotic factors such as altitude temperature or salinity and depth so these are the some factors abiotic factors which are responsible for this change when we when we move from one ecosystem to another ecosystems in terms of species composition this is known as eco cline next is ecological niche so this is very important term basically niche is the profession of an organism so two organisms two species can have same habitat but they cannot overlap their niches so niche refers to the unique functional role and position of a species in its habitat or in an ecosystem so this is basically profession of of an organism in nature many species may occupy the same habitat but they perform different functions so their niches are different or unique and it, it's of uh, niches are of different types for example we have habitat niche where it lives jahan pe koi species rehti hai and then food niche what it eats or decompose what species it competes with so it forms a habitat niche for example we have an example of warbler niche these are the birds jo ki ek tree mein rehte hain but they have well defined uh, areas in the tree so in this picture we can see here so warbler species has different niche in its spruce tree habitat by feeding in different areas of the tree जो ये बर्ड्स हैं ये अवॉइड करते हैं इनके बीच में कंपटीशन फॉर फूड बिटवीन वन एंड अदर सो सो दे हैव डिफरेंट निशेस इन दिस सेम ट्री सो दैट दे कैन हैव मिनिमम कंपटीशन बिटवीन द स्पीशीज बिटवीन द सेम इंडिविजुअल्स ऑफ ऑफ द सेम स्पीशीज नेक्स्ट इज रिप्रोडक्टिव निश सो हाउ एंड फैन इट रिप्रोड्यूसेस it varies from species to species that perform that forms the reproductive niche then we have physical and chemical niche so it includes the temperature land shape land slope humidity and other requirements that uh, forms the physical and chemical niche so these are unique for each species the niche plays very important role in conservation of organisms if we have idea about the profession of an organism we can uh, we can protect them against the climate change or any other man made uh, extinctions so if we have to conserve the species in its native habitat we should have knowledge about the niche requirement of that species basically agar humne kisi bhi species ko conserve karna hai to hame uske niche ka pata hona chahiye ki what are the requirements of their niche and uh, by this knowledge we can protect the species in their native habitats so this is the uh, all about the niche factor